This is Mr. Martin. Uh, this video is for geometry, and, and we're going to be uh, introducing um, a new term today, perpendicular bisector, and then looking at some other um, problems related to um, adding uh, segments and um, solving some geometric problems using algebra, which we're going to do quite a bit in this class. So let's start with a perpendicular bisector. So if a segment line or ray is a perpendicular bisector, then it is perpendicular to a segment and it bisects the segment. Okay, so I know I used uh, both of those words in the definition. Um, just to, to review, perpendicular And our symbol for that is an upside down T. And that means um, to intersect at a right angle. Okay, so that's at 90 degrees. So if something's perpendicular to uh, something else, they cross, they intersect at 90 degrees. And then a bisector divides something. So usually our somethings will be segments or angles into two congruent Parts. Okay, so if we're bisecting a segment, we would get two congruent segments. If we're bisecting an angle, we would get two congruent angles. So this is important, two congruent parts. Because a lot of times um, students will think bisector, it divides it, but it also divides it in a very special way. It divides it into two congruent parts. Okay, so we'll go through a couple of these together, and then I want you to go ahead and finish the other ones on your own. Um, and then I'll have solutions for you in class if you want to um, check to make sure you did your answers correctly. Um, so let's start with B. I'm going to let you go back and do A. Points C, A, and T are collinear. So I'm going to draw these three points. Uh, point A is between C and T, so A is going to go somewhere in between here. My drawing may not be to scale. So draw a picture and find the length. So CT is 14, so I'm going to mark that 14. And CA is 3. So this should say find the missing length, and the missing length here is AT. I'm just going to let that be X. So I can see in the picture, this is our segment addition postulate, where we add up two smaller segments to get a bigger segment. So I have a small segment CA, a small segment AT. If I add those two together, I get the long segment CT, which is 14. So I could write a little equation here, X plus 3 equals 14. And I'm going to want you to get in the habit of writing equations as well. And then if we subtract 3 from both sides, we get x is equal to 11, which means that at is equal to 11. Okay? All right. And then I'm going to let you do c by yourself, and let's take a look at d. So it says line SU is a perpendicular bisector solved for X and Y. 
So if it's a perpendicular bisector, we can see these right angles here are marked already. So this side is a right angle over here, and this side is a right angle over here. Anytime two lines intersect, you're going to get four right angles. For example, if I have these two lines, and I know that they're perpendicular, and I have marked a right angle, all the other angles here are going to be right angles. Okay, so let's start with y. I have this expression here for this right angle. So what that tells me is that 10y minus 4 has to equal 90. So what we want to do is find the value of y that will make 10y minus 4 90. So we'll add 4 to both sides. We get 10y is equal to 94 divided by 10. And we get y is equal to 9.4. Okay, so that's for y. And then let's solve for x. Since um, SU is a perpendicular bisector, since this is a perpendicular bisector here, I know that it also bisects TR, so I know that this segment is going to be congruent to that segment, which means that I need to find some value of x so that these are equal to each other. So I know that 5x minus 30 has to equal 2x plus 24, and then I'll subtract 2x from both sides. So I get 3x minus 30 is equal to 24, add 30 to both sides, and we have 3x is equal to 54, divide both sides by 3, and we get that x is equal to, let's see, that's 118. I think I did that right. If I didn't, let me know. So here's our values for y and x. Okay. They're looking for the equations, so one of the equations is 10y minus 4 is equal to 90, and the other one is 5x minus 30 is equal to 2x plus 24, and the reason is that perpendicular bisector forms right angles and divides a segment into two congruent segments. And then I've highlighted our answers over there. Okay, if you have questions, make sure you ask. After you finish the other problems that I left for you to do, make sure you check your answers on those so you make sure you're doing them right. And then, as always, make sure you don't forget to do the recap it. Okay, it shouldn't take you long. And then, if you're up for it, give the challenge a try. All right, we'll see you next time.